and welcome to the Maid Summit. Today's presentation is sponsored by Compass Wave. My name is Mark Lane from Eco York. We're going to go through how to grow your cleaning business with effective web and social media strategies. Our team consists of myself, Mark Lane, president of Eco York, Matt Lane, our director of sales and marketing for Compass Wave. You'll see him in a lot of the ISSA conventions. And Lisa Hicks, our digital marketing manager for Eco York. She's also going to be helping with today's presentation. Who is Eco York? Eco York is a full service and web development company offering innovative and affordable custom website and custom software solutions for all types of businesses. We've been in business for over 10 years, and over those 10 years, we've developed about 10 to 15 custom software solutions. Some of those software solutions include Compass Wave and estimating software for residential cleaning companies, Ecoferral, an online directory for any type of business, and EDS, which is a suite of HVAC software products, some of which include a home auditor software and load calculator software for HVAC contractors. Some of our services include web development, software development, PPC, social media marketing, video production services, as well as web hosting. Some of the topics that we'll go over through today's presentation include effective web strategies, how to produce relevant and original content, optimizing your website, using proper call to actions, how to run website audits, and some of the tools to monitor your website, which include Google Analytics, Google Webmaster Tools, Hotjar, and SEMrush. We're also gonna show you how to make sure your website is mobile friendly and what that means. Some of the social media strategies that we'll go through today include using the 80-20 rule, planning out your postings ahead of time, how to engage with your audience, how to post content that you would be interested in as your potential customer, and how to use these strategies to reach more potential customers for your cleaning business. I'm going to hand it over to Lisa Hicks to go over effective web strategy number one. Thanks, Mark. Producing relevant and original content starts with knowing your customer. When you understand who your customer is, you can address their problems, questions, concerns, and interests, and enter into their world, speaking directly to them. Relevance begins with knowing. Next is understanding intent. The user intent when entering a keyword for a search, the goal of the user is typing the search query and it typically falls into one of three categories. Do something, know something, or go somewhere. Next is consistency. Consistency is key. Content marketing is the marketing technique of creating and distributing valuable, relevant, consistent content to attract and acquire a clearly defined audience with the objective of driving profitable customer action. Strategy number two is optimizing your website. GT metrics are paying them will provide a report on your website. It gives you a page speed score, Y slow score, and fully loaded time are provided. It also gives you recommendations on how to improve your page speed, as well as what priority to give each with a recommended fix. Web strategy number three, using proper call to actions. A call to action is a piece of content intended to induce a website visitor to perform a specific act, typically taking the form of an instruction or directive. For example, buy now or click here. Have you struggled to get visitors to your site to do what you wanted them to do? Maybe you want them to sign up for your newsletter or to ask for a demo of your product, but they never make it to that page. It may be time to revisit your calls to action. Some examples here on the right-hand side, HubSpot uses simple, persuasive content alongside relatable images of fellow salespeople to get you to try their sales tools. Netflix uses text to guide you to their free trial. Trello makes their persuasive copy and button text stand out against their all-blue background by featuring strong, contrasting colors that definitely attract the user's eye. Web strategy number four, run website audits. When was the last time you gave your website a checkup? A website audit is a full analysis of all the factors that affect your website's visibility on search engines. 
The standard method provides a complete insight into any website, overall traffic, and individual pages. The audit is completed solely for marketing purposes. You can run a limited audit for free at SEMrush, HubSpot's website grader, or the Hall. A comprehensive website auditing service will offer you feedback on everything from your technical issues to your content and everything in between. Once you have a report on the health of your website, you begin, can begin to make improvements. If you have no knowledge on the subject, it may be worthwhile to outsource and find an SEO expert to help your business. Strategy number five, utilizing tools to monitor your website. Google offers free and very user-friendly tools. The first one is Google Webmaster Tools. It's a really valuable instrument for SEO. It gives you at-a-glance data about all important SEO aspects of the site, such as keywords, links, crawls, crawl errors, etc. If you don't use it already, take the time and get familiar with it. It will help you get better rankings for sure. A sitemap is a file that contains a mapping of all pages, videos, and other files on your site. It can be exported from your site and submitted to Google Webmaster Tools to provide a very detailed overview of your site's content, giving Google a roadmap of your site. Google Analytics is a web analytics service offered by Google that tracks and reports website traffic. Currently, it says a platform inside the Google Marketing Platform brand. Google Analytics lets you measure your advertising ROI as well as track your flash, video, and social networking sites and applications. What can you do with it? It gives you tools you need to better understand your customers. You can then use those business insights to take actions such as improving your website, creating tailored audience lists, and more. Hotjar is a service that utilizes heat maps, a technology that visualizes behavior, helping you understand what users want, care about, or do on your site by visually representing their clicks, taps, and scrolling behavior. The strongest indicators of visitor motivation and desire. They also provide videos in the form of session recordings to show you how people are navigating through your site, giving you the insight you need to improve the user experience and improve conversions. Make sure your website is mobile friendly. Not being mobile friendly will affect your search engine results for your business, so you cannot delay on this any longer. How to make a website mobile friendly? In 2016, for the first time, mobile internet usage surpassed computer usage. Mobile device use has been on the rise ever since Apple released the first smartphone. You, you have to make your website mobile friendly. If your site uses a content management software, you may be able to update the theme to a mobile-friendly version. However, it's likely you may need a web developer to achieve an updated mobile version of your website. Make the investment today to allow you to reach a broader audience. Thank you, Lisa. Effective web strategy number seven, using combination of online booking and estimating lead capture forms. When you combine lead capture and booking with your website goals, you can capture information on your website. By creating a funnel that helps capture high quality leads, you're growing an email marketing campaign list that can be used for cross promotions. I'm gonna show this quick video on how to get estimates right from your website utilizing Compass Wave. You own a residential cleaning service. One thing you know is that time equals money. What burns up the most time? Estimates. You spend hours a week creating custom estimates for your clients. Time that could be used for growth for your company. Gone. Just like that. There has to be a better way. Compass Wave is a fast, interactive software that does the work for you. Communicate and connect to more customers with this user-friendly software. Compass Wave collects all the information you need and direct email alerts you to all your new clients. Never miss another client. Compass Wave. Online estimates made easy. Our next topic is social media marketing strategies. Our first topic is how to know your audience. Start with social media marketing audit. Evaluate three of your competitors' social media content, their audiences, and responses to determine the ideal customer that is seeking your services. You'll want to establish goals and a vision for your social media. Next, use that customer persona to determine goals and a vision for your social media marketing efforts. Make sure the content you're posting speaks to the individual needs of the customer as closely as possible. 
Use analytics to measure your goals. You can view analytics in the social media application you're using. For example, Facebook has Facebook Insights, which can show you whether or not they're male, female, where they work, and where they live. You'll want to review the, your audience's responses to your posts and then alter future posts based on the response rate, which you can see in Facebook Insights. Apply the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is the standard for effective social media marketing. You want to use 80% industry-related topics. So for example, if you're a cleaning business, you'll only want to post 80% of your posts should be about a cleaning business or about how to clean your home, those types of topics. Basically topics that would be helpful to your overall audience. And then only use 20% of those posts to promote your business. So for example, linking back to your website or a call to action on your social media page. When using social media, you want to put yourself in the shoes of your audience. No one's going to want a constant advertisement type of post in their newsfeed. That type of material is going to get ignored, blocked, and won't help you move towards the goals of growing your social media marketing presence. Planning your content. Planning your content ahead of time is an important aspect of social media. It not only helps you become more efficient in your overall strategies, but it will help you make more, make sure you have more of a consistent message and post going on on a regular basis. Engage with your audience. One of the key factors in building your audience is participation. You want to offer quizzes or contests with prizes of a way of achieving this. You can plan and post content based on your goals and visions. So select content that your audience or future audience will find helpful and informative. And of course, most importantly, keep them returning often. So for example, posting cleaning tips, how-to how cleanings, those types of posts will be helpful for your audiences. Scheduling. Planning is essential to your success. There are tools available that allow posts to be scheduled ahead of time for multiple social media accounts at a time. One of those tools is Hootsuite. Another tool is also Buffer App, which will provide links at the end of this presentation. You can choose different social media accounts to post to, such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Pinterest. You also want to make sure to put together a social media calendar where there, there are many templates available and plan your posts ahead of time. Here's a couple of content ideas for posting. Your company's blog posts. Um, obviously, you're going to have blog posts for your business um, to help improve the SEO. If you don't, you should. Um, you can share those on social media and get interactions. Posts showing your company's culture. Industry news such as ISSA events or ARCSI events, um, things that you're attending. Curated content, sharing others' content in your niche. If there's other cleaning companies that have interesting content, share that content on your page. Even if they're competing, some of that information might be helpful for your audience as well. Promote your partners such as ISSA, Cleaning for a Reason. Those are good partners to promote on your page. Product company videos, any commercials that you might have done. Post an answer to a common question. So if someone constantly asks you a question when you're cleaning their home um, or how to clean something, that would be an answer that you could post on your social media page. Customer reviews and testimonials. These could be text um, or Google reviews or Facebook reviews. Um, video testimonials as well would be good to post on your page. Memes or GIFs, these are always fun and can get the different interactions on your social media accounts. Contest posts, holiday posts of course, event posts, if you're doing an event, um, whether or not you're attending an event or even if you're hosting an event, these would be good things to post on your Facebook page. Answer to commonly asked questions. How-to videos, if you want to know how to clean a shower or how not to clean something, um, these would be good how-to tips to provide to your audience. Asking for customer feedback. Company news announcements, if you've just added a couple members to your team, something like that might be helpful um, or useful uh, to growing your business. A case study of one of your customers, if you have a move in or a move out clean, um, how did it help them uh, ease some of the pain of moving to a different location? Job listings, Facebook has a job hosting section um, within their uh, platform that you can utilize to your advantage. Image scrambles, inspirational quotes, 
company history, how your company has started maybe, or where you're going. Uh, promote a new product or event. And then of course, resharing top performing posts by reviewing your insights on Facebook or other social media accounts have ways of viewing this information as well. By resharing those top performing posts, you can again, get more interactions on those posts. Putting these web and social media strategies into practice will help you with growth and ROI within your cleaning business. Some of the resources that we have here are Hootsuite, Buffer App, and our software as a service, Social Serenity. Some of the web management tools that we went over today include Google Webmaster Tools, Google Analytics, Hotjar, GT Metrics, Pingdom, and SEM Rush, and of course our estimating software, Compass Wave. We want to thank everyone for watching our video and thank you, Amar. Um, for allowing us to participate in this Maid Service Summit. If you've enjoyed our talk today, please follow us on the following ch channels. Thank you, and have a great day.